Um, overall, it wasn't clean. There's a lot of things that we still need to improve on to be where we're at as a team. Um, we just want to get 1% better. Um, so we want to enjoy the win. They are a tough opponent. So we're going to take this 24-hour rule, uh, like we say here, enjoy the win. Um, no matter what, we got the win. So we want to enjoy it and move on. Yeah, How do you feel about your performance? Uh, overall, I need to get better. I need to be better as a leader. I need to be better um, overall at what I'm doing. Um, I just want to continue to build and be the best version of myself when I take the field. Um, so there's some things that I'm going to look at with the coaching staff and my teammates to uh, uh, look at what, some things I need to improve on. So for sure, i got to get some things improved. You what was going through your, fr your mind during that first uh, touchdown? You, you know, play breaks down, you score a touchdown. Uh, honestly, uh, it was all set up with my team. That I, had, you know, they, I was able to, I was fortunate to pick the ball up and make a play with it, but it was all uh, with the other 10 guys on the field that helped me get into the end zone. You worked on that deep ball a lot on the offseason. I know when it came to fruition tonight. Uh, how much of that do you want to be part of your game moving forward? Um, like I said, like every element of my game I want to improve on. You know, it's not one specific thing that I want to improve on, um, but that element of my game um, has to be there so we can push to be, and succeed uh, throughout the year. When did you find out you were going to get the start, and what went through your mind at that moment? Uh, it was sometime during the week. I don't uh, remember exactly when, but uh, no matter what, if I was a backup or what, I still need to improve and build. So, honestly, the whole room is a whole. Um, we push each other. Um, we build our chemistry together, our relationship. Um, so I'm proud of every guy. That goes for uh, Dylan. That goes for Eli. That goes for Ty, Tyler. Um, the whole room is a whole. So, Coach has talked about a guy taking the job, not waiting for it to come to him, being the first guy out. Did you have that mentality that – I'm not going to let somebody come in here and take the job from me. Not necessarily. I was just worrying about getting 1% better each and every day. No matter who's on the field, they're QB1. Um, so I just want to be the best teammate I can and root for every guy that was on the field. Um, no matter who it is, I just want to be the best teammate I can. Jalen, what have you done to grow specifically as a leader? How do you think you have grown in that area? Uh, understanding my teammates. That's the key. Um, when I'm on the field, I want, I want the guys around me to trust me and know that you know when uh, I'm at quarterback, they can trust me and believe in me. Um, but Honestly, I believe that it comes down to chemistry with your teammates and knowing knowing each each guy on the team. That's something you work on off the field too. Honestly, yes, sir. Jalen, how does that play on the first drive where Isaiah Bond kind of lowered his shoulder, set the tone for the physicality the offense wants to have this year? That's Alabama football right there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Amari Nodlack and his development? I love him. Uh, number one, how he approach practice. You can really see it in the guy how he approach practices, um, just how he just grown um, overall. With the time we had in the off season, just him being hungry, um, him hitting me up, saying, hey, let's go watch some film. Hey, let's go uh, run routes. Um, I think that's key, that, and, and it factors into what happened today. So how would you grade your own performance? Uh, I let my coaches uh, do that for me, um, but I know that I'm not where I want to be at. What's the biggest thing you need to improve? Overall, my whole game. Um, like I said, we're going to take it 24-hour rule. Um, enjoy the win, because that, that was a tough opponent. I was a tough opponent, and it took a lot of preparation going into the week, each and every day, trying to build. Um, so I'm going to enjow the win, but overall, I want to improve my what's whole the thing game. You, what's the thing that you think you did best today? Next play. Next, thing, next play mentality. No matter what happened, positive, negative, next play. You know, I was going to get a next play, so that was my key for every, every drive that we had. Next play is going to be against Texas. Uh, what's that going to mean to you personally if you can go out there and be the starting quarterback against the Longhorns? Uh, honestly, uh, just another opponent on the schedule. Um, just, just day by day, trying to improve. And Saturday is going to – our success on, on that day is going to come from our preparation throughout the week. Um, so no matter who, what opponent it is, we're just going to take it uh, one day at a time. How big was it for the offense as a whole to come out and be turnover free in the first game? Um, that was key. You know, when we, when we go into preparation for every, every week, that's some things that we talk about as a unit. And um, like I said, we were, we were proud of the win just the, the growth that we had throughout the off season, And then that, um, that is one thing that we, that we harp on as a whole, you know, ball team. That's key. Every, every day we, 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 we approach the facility and talk as a unit, it's ball team. And you're being your third year, you've been learning. What's the biggest thing in two years that you learned from Bryce as you prepared yourself for this? I think his leadership. His leadership and knowing that it takes all 11 guys to be successful. Um, and then the also thing that Bryce had was how poised he was, calm, cool, and collected. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing of playing the position, the quarterback position, is being calm, cool, and collected. And Bryce has all elements to every, every part of his game 
that allows him to succeed. You're a Texas guy. If you take the field as a starter this Saturday against Texas, is it going to mean a little more for you? No, I'm just going to take it one. You know, it's just another game on the schedule. Um, uh, no matter you know, no matter who, who's in the game, it'll just be a, a great moment. Just to be blessed. You're just blessed to play the game. No matter who it is, I'm, I'm blessed to play the game. Just like today, I appreciate. I, first thing I do is, you know, be appreciative to be, be able to play football. Joe, do you have any Texas fans in your extended family? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. What about your immediate family. Yeah. <laughs> So there gonna be some ground rules of like, hey, only Alabama stuff if you're coming to the game. I don't know yet. <laughs> did you have a Vince Young jersey growing up? I did. I did. I did. <laughs> what, what, right, what, last one. What was the biggest thing that you had to improve on when you looked at reviewed last year? Like, what did you have to do get better at this year? I think the biggest thing, just looking in the mirror, just constantly wanting to improve, and that's key for every person that tries to be successful, trying to look in the mirror and try to build every day. That was, that was the biggest thing I did, look in the mirror and look at my, you know, everything that I can try to improve on as a whole. So that was key. All right, thank you, Daniel. Thanks, thank you. Hey, thank you for that. <laughs>